Welcome back to AMTV News. I'm your anchor, Topher Morrison. It is Thursday, March 7th, 2013. I can almost smell the weekend. I'm sure you can too. But first, I'm feeling pretty good today. Finally, someone uh, stood up for my rights yesterday. It was pretty nice. I'm not only one person, but he managed to pull a little gaggle of uh, freshman Republicans and a little bit of Hollywood's elites all together. This was a bright moment, something special, something we need to look on and say, hey, that was a success. Even if this John Brennan guy is going to get nominated, we know that. But for right now, we stood strong, looked into the eyes of our enemy and said, no, you will not drain strike us. You will not take a seat. You know, you want to get all brave heart and everything about it. But anyways, it's a good day. So let's stick our flag in the ground and say, good job, Rand Paul. We stand with you. But more importantly, and why I wanted to talk to you about this, was this is a little bit of what I talked about Ron Paul. He and his son both have some delicious liberal honey that brings all people of all walks and creeds together. Rand Paul is obviously a senator. That's one way that makes him a little more powerful than his father. But after yesterday's stunt, he is a national player and he's bringing his liberal honey along with him. Well, the old GOP guard, and I do mean old, Senators John McCain and Lindsey Graham were across town rubbing elbows and eating dinner with President Barack Obama, even after not being given access to the secret documents they were looking for in regards to Benghazi and the administration's response to the attacks on our U.S. consulate and the death of an ambassador and many others, the GOP's freshman cadre in the Senate were helping out Rand Paul and his filibuster in support of the Constitution and in protest of Barack Obama's extrajudicial execution program. And if you haven't been following, Eric Holder believes the president, quote, has authority to use drone strikes on Americans on U.S. soil. Rand and many others, including Hollywood actors and musicians like John Cusack, Rob Lowe, and Wiz Khalifa, disagree. But Senator McCain and Graham don't even believe the question deserves an answer. The only question is, what has been accomplished by over a decade of drone attacks in Pakistan? It's arguably very little. What has been accomplished by these two over the years? Uh, infinitely smaller, I would argue. But what would be accomplished by condoning drone strikes on American soil? You know, there's a little part of me that hopes John McCain and Senator Lindsey Graham can find out. And oh my God, in the most exciting news ever, ancient Arctic camels found in science news. I think it's kind of cool. And I'll tell you why. Canadian paleobiologist Natalie Roginski found fossil fragments of ancient camels in northern Canada. Scientists have known for years camels lived in North America and in Canada's Arctic regions. But Roginski's discovery was 12,000 kilometers north of previous finds. While camels are thought to thrive in arid environments traditionally, these camels actually enjoyed once lush and heavily forested areas. Now. Climate change is indeed serious, but a very natural phenomenon, as her discovery indicates. As I have reported on before, once science, governments, and private industry have been emancipated from the idea that global warming, or cooling as we may soon find out, is wholly man-made, and likewise free them from pursuing non-starters and frivolous pursuits like carbon trading and geoengineering, we can start to think proactively about how to protect our cities, our property, and life as we wish it to be. If the recent asteroid over Russia taught us anything, it is we have to prepare, and not only for a wild planet, but an unforgiving galaxy. We can do things which harm the environment, and climate change, again, is real. It's just not all our fault. Capturing every corner of the alternative media, watch AMTV News Monday through Friday. Follow me on Twitter at AMTV News, and like us on Facebook at Greenwave TV using the links below. Find our sourced material and more videos like these at amtvmedia.com and greenwave.com, both part of the AMTV network. You're watching AMTV, the voice of independence.